Jordan, aka Mary Helsing, and welcome to a new season of What I Got for Hanukkah. Now, this year has been becoming very, very complicated so far because it's like there have been like usually I would annually do like 16 presents and and such but this year it's been like 19 presents so far so I got a lot to talk about so right now let's get started now what I've got on the first night of Hanukkah is this really interesting book by Edogawa's Rampo's Japanese Tales of Mystery and Imagination and since I've been very interested into Japanese folk tales and urban legends I'm actually really lucky to have this because because what I've read so far is that the author of this book was actually inspired by gothic literary genius Edgar Allan Poe and what he wrote here is like a series of tales which are kind of like a mix of both folklore and urban legends since my favorite uh, Japanese folklore legend is the Yukiona which is means snow woman and what he has here is just a few nine tales and some of them are usually very very similar to like psychological horror films and they could fit in easily and so this is what it got and I'm actually really lucky to have this. I can't wait to read it. Now the two other gifts that I got for the first night of Hanukkah is this! Death Note the entire series. Now I have been a fan of this series ever since I went onto the internet and I heard so many people just talking about the series and it's just it's like, I was just so curious to like check out the series, and when I first saw it, I got hooked ever since, and I sort of kind of like binged watched the show, and I got introduced to my mom into it, and I'm just so lucky that I got the complete series, and it's just so exciting! Look at Ryuk just being all scary and shit! Okay, to anyone who has never seen the show uh, Death Note, the plot for Death Note is basically um, about this guy named Light Yagami who just discovered this book, a notebook, and it has the power to kill people if you write the subject's name in it. So it's a really cool concept, but once you get into it, it's a really clever, well-written story. And I think this is definitely one of the best anime series ever, in my opinion. And what also comes with it is that I got this little beanie with L's logo on it. There's like a character on the show named L Lolliet who's like the detective in the show and I'm just so glad that I'm wearing his logo. I am a follower of L Lolliet aka Ryuzaki. It's just so cool. I will forever be a fan of Death Note and I'm proud of it. So these are what I got for the first night of Hanukkah and now let's move on to night number two. Now what I've got for the second night of Hanukkah is this really interesting book called Clever Maids, The Secret History of the Grim Fairy Tales by Valerie Paraditz. What this book is about is that ever since I've been a fan of like the Grimm Brothers fairy tales and I've been told these stories ever since I was young, but most of these stories were told from a male perspective because most of the most of the stories were all about like I gotta go and save the damsel in distress and everything. But what what this book is about is actually a feminist analysis on the Grimm Brothers fairy tales and I actually find that to be really interesting because you never really hear what does the female character think about during their role in the Grimm Brothers fairy tales. Now this book isn't really that much of like a feminist manifesto like most books can be. What this is, is that back then in the times when Grimm Brothers were still alive, these were folk tales that were told to them by the women in their village. And this is gonna be a really interesting book because it almost feels like you're gonna be analyzing all of the classic Grimm Brothers fairy tales. As a matter of fact, I've read a few of the stories from this book called The Bloody Chamber by Angela Carter, and most of them are gothic twists on the Grimm Brothers fairy tales, and one of the chapters the Company of Wolves, which later became a movie. What The Company of Wolves was about, it was a gothic twist on Little Red Riding Hood, except it's told from a female perspective. It's a really interesting movie, and it's a really interesting story if you ever want to check it out. So this is what I got, and the other gift that I got is this jersey, Ravenclaw Quidditch jersey, cause Ravenclaw is freaking awesome! 
Duh! I mean, I've always loved being in Ravenclaw, and I've always loved Harry Potter and its whole, like, universe, and it's so great that I got to wear a jersey so I could just show my Ravenclaw pride, and I'm just so glad to have it. Ravenclaw suckers! So that's all I basically have for the first and second night, and I can't wait to show you more of what I got for the next few nights, and I'll see you there. Happy holidays, everybody. Thank you.